Hi, this is Wes Fryer, and we're in Sao Paulo, Brazil on March 14th, 2016, and we've been doing the Marshmallow Challenge with about 22 teachers, and we're going to reflect a little bit on some of the things we learned. Okay, some of the things we've learned are the importance of teamwork. Uh, we had to, to take uh, a cool... What is this word? Common vision. Uh, yes, we had to, to, to share a common vision. And first, we also uh, saw the importance of planning before, hands-on. Okay. Okay, our group uh, did uh, reasonably well. It didn't work at the very end. But the main thing that we forgot about, something that the kids don't forget about, is uh, the fact that we need to prototype every time. And uh, we only began testing after we had planned everything, after we built the structure the best way we could in the time that we had. And we tested at the very end. And as we grew desperate, we used strings and everything to counterbalance. And the, the thing is, is that you have to prototype from the beginning. Oh, hi. Uh, this was a great uh, cooperative learning activity that where everybody well, participated equally, had good input on that, and we've learned together how to build a uh, hyper-spatial structure. Unfortunately, it didn't work, right? But we relied a lot on external experience on that. Hello. Okay, so one of our biggest takeaways was that it's important to collaborate and be flexible and also assess the materials before we start testing them. And one of the things we did was we put the marshmallow right away on one spaghetti stick to see how it would behave initially. Okay. And your group was successful. Why do you think you were able to 46 centimeters? Why was that? Why, oh, why do you think you were able to? Yeah. Why, why do you think you were able to be successful? Well, we went a little bit over time. We're problem solving, but we're testing it along the way. And then we saw, when we saw that the marshmallow was not going to stand firm right on top, we started bringing it down. Because then we stopped worrying about how high it would be, but how stable it would be. And you were the only group, I think, to do that early and then be able to move the marshmallow. So yeah, that we're was... starting right from the beginning, actually. OK, our group worked really well together, and we collaborated collaborated at every point. Um, we understand upon reflection the kind of pragmatic things we need to do to improve our structure and make it successful. Um, however, when we were reflecting about the task, we took a more kind of philosophical view of it and we realized that actually um, when planning things like this, we need to redefine what success actually is. And we instantly saw that as soon as we were given this task, we became competitive. Um, and it was all about building the highest structure. And I think that's why the younger children are, are better at it, because success for them is different. And actually just having a structure, no matter how tall, really, that holds a marshmallow is success. So it's kind of we, we learned lessons that we can take and develop our own practice with, if that makes sense. So those are a few thoughts. We'd encourage you to check out the Marshmallow Challenge, which you can just Google Marshmallow Challenge. I think it's marshmallowchallenge.com. And if you'd like to access all the resources from our STEM Institute, you can go to the website camp, C-A-M-P, .stemseeds .org, and click the link for March 2016. Thanks for listening.